Good Morning Wolfpack, I'm Sammy Bringus. And I'm Isabel Herman. Today is Wednesday, December 8th, and we're here with your morning announcements. Just a reminder that today is the last day to drop off donations for the shoe drive at Mrs. Lalonde's room. Any shoes in any size are welcome. Just be sure to tie the shoes together with the laces and drop them off outside HN7. This week is the last spirit week for the term. Today is Ball Humbug Day, so we hope to see everyone wearing their favorite pajamas. Tomorrow is Ugly Sweater Day. Come to school in your most hideous sweater. And finally, Friday is Flannel Friday. We can't wait to see all of your amazing outfits. Now it's time for another Spirit Day Fit Check. to be a part of the EGUSD Racial Justice Video Library. The district is looking for students to share their stories about how we can advance racial justice in our district. They will be here on campus to film videos Thursday morning. If you're interested, fill out the Google form linked on the screen. Now let's pass on over to Noah to see what's happening in the news. Good morning, I'm Noah Seed, and I'm here with your In the News update. In recent COVID news, around 8.23 billion doses of vaccines have been given around the world in 184 countries. The most recent rate of doses given are 36.5 million doses a day. Countries such as Spain, China, Canada, Japan, Ireland, Germany, Austria, United Kingdom, Australia, United States, and Italy are considered to be above the world average when it comes to the number of people fully vaccinated. The United States has about 60% of its population fully vaccinated, according to Johns Hopkins University. Other countries that's, uh, such as Iraq, Afghanistan, Indo India, Indonesia, Egypt, Ethiopia, are considered to be below the world average when it comes to people fully vaccinated. In the United States, California has the highest number of people vaccinated, be, there being almost 26 million people fully vaccinated. The state has also given around 60 million doses of the vaccine. In international news, Germany now has a new chancellor. According to BBC, Olaf Scholz won the election and will replace the 16-year Chancellor Angela Merkel. The pair served together as chancellor and vice chancellor. Well, that's all for your In the News update. I'm Noah C. Back to the anchors. Thanks, Noah. The CO, the CO men's soccer team is hosting a canned food drive and are accepting donations until the 13th. Bring a canned or dry good to the leadership room and receive an IMCO ticket. Attention new and returning football athletes. There's a mandatory meeting tomorrow at 325 in the cafeteria patio area. This meeting will cover off-season schedule and the expectations for the 2022 football season. If you have any questions, email Coach Billings or visit him in HG5. Attention students who are interested in playing softball, there will be a mandatory meeting after school at 3.20 on Tuesday, December 14th in Coach Raisin's room, HG4. The library is hosting a warm up with a good book, reading event. Come sign up to read a book of your choice for 30 minutes next Wednesday, December 15th from 8.45 to 9.15 and enjoy some hot chocolate and a treat. Space is limited, so be sure to sign up soon. All staff is welcome as well. I wonder what Mrs. Smith is cooking in culinary this week. Let's find out by passing it on to Cooking with the Pack. Welcome back to Cooking with the Pack. I'm Miss Smith and today we're going to do a variation of pecan pie and a cranberry pecan tart. So first we'll make our filling. Uh, I cheated a little bit. We've got a pre-made pie shell. Don't hate. It's great. It's super easy. And what we're doing today is focusing on the filling. So we're going to start with two cups of caro syrup, which we've got some regular sugar. We've got six eggs and a little bit of vanilla that we're gonna stick in here. And then I like to make sure that we break up those eggs before we get too much more into it. This is gonna end up giving us a super goopy, delicious filling. And the eggs 
are gonna be our structure. All right, we have our pecans, right? We left over. We're gonna do a nice little layer of pecans. I don't like to pour directly from the bowl, right? It gets kind of messy, Ooh, like that. Pour this straight in. Now this next step is a little extra, but I think it's worth it. In this container, we have whole pecans. And we're gonna go through and we're gonna layer all of our pecans on the top of our shell. This is gonna go in the oven, 350 degrees for about 35, 40 minutes, or until it's no longer jiggly. Some fresh cranberries. Now I've already gone through and picked through the ones that aren't good. For corn syrup, eggs, vanilla, all of that is gonna go in here. And this one you wanna make sure that we do not overfill. This is gonna go in the oven, just like our pecan pie, 35, 40 minutes at 350. We are back. These are out of the oven. They have cooled slightly. Our pecan pie, ready as is. It is good to go. If you wanted, you could glaze a little bit on the top, but you don't have to. This is ready to serve. So we have some powdered sugar. We're going to sift it over. I'm just going to very lightly over the top. So there we go. Two more desserts for your holiday feast this winter time. Thanks for cooking with the pack. That looked so good. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Sammy Bringus. And I'm Isabel Herman. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Have, have a, a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.